Hey guys, welcome to another video by Predator War Robots. So today is a bit of a different video. Um, I'm going to be talking about how to brawl on big maps. And just for those of you who don't know, brawling is using builds that have weapons that have a 350 meter range or less. So there's a couple of them. Um, and I'm just going to go through a couple builds that are used a lot in Champion League and I use quite often. So the Ancelot with Turan Orkins, the Lancelot Thunder Orkin, Pinato Orkin Griffin, also known as the Death Button, the Magnum Turan Griffin, the Regatka Turan's Orkins, I've seen that a lot more lately, uh, the Dock 4 Orkins, and the Carnage Thunder. So those builds I use, I use some of those and they're, some of them are very common like the Ancelot in Champion League. Here are a couple things to remember when using five brawlers, um, especially on big maps. You want to know when to attack and when to fall back. Prioritize taking out enemy range. Use cover. Be aware of how many bots you have used and have left. And don't be too aggressive. So just to go into some depth about that, when I say don't be too aggressive, I mean, don't just waste your bots and throw them away, and don't keep throwing yourself in the middle of center, trying to create these awesome round ending kill cam kills. <laughs> so that brings me to the other point, which is prioritize taking out enemy range. So what I mean by that is, on Canyon, generally a Lancelot is less valuable as a Fury Trident on the enemy side just because they can hit you from 600 meters out and it's just more difficult to get close to the Fury Trident so if they're both right in front of you take out the Fury Trident first and then on smaller maps it'd be reversed so if there is a Fury Trident there on Dead City and a Lancelot was there typically a Lancelot is gonna be way more effective for them so take that out first and then leave the Fury if you die and the other one I should explain is be aware of how many bots you use. That means if you have five hangar slots, it only makes sense if you use, try to use one every two minutes. So then that's 10 minutes, five hangar slots. So just try to keep in that time range. If you're going through bots, like four bots in three minutes, then you're going to have to slow down and play more conservative. And then it just ruins the rest of the game. So, know when to attack. And, yeah, that's it. View of Yemen Town map. And I'll just go through some of the maps quickly and give some tips and just some strategy when running solo with five brawlers. So, you always either spawn in at E or C. And,. My best success I have with five brawlers is to go straight to center and just wait on the ramp and then make your move if they have center or just wait there because on the ramp it's really hard for their range to hit you unless they go up on this bridge. But in that case, you're going to have to probably sacrifice to take out that uh, fury or maybe it's a carnage or something like that. But you can also go under this covered bridge and try to flank their home if you're coming from this side because once you get in there it's really hard for the other team to dig you out and you can go on top but I'd probably only do that if you had like a plasma I'd use plasma because I wouldn't go there with Orkins just in general and an Ancelot or a Galahads um, unless you have like multiple guys going there just because you can get, if you don't have a shielded bot, you can get hit by range coming across. Um, these guys can shoot you, and yeah, it just doesn't make for a good plan. So that's basically it. Um, I would never really attack over this, uh, over this non-covered bridge, just because you can literally get hit by everything. Because range here can hit you; they can hit you from here guys on their own ramp can hit you across so I would go up there if you have a range but that's we're doing brawlers so 
Yeah, stay away from the bridge. So now this is just some footage from me playing on Yemintao. So this is me in a squad. I'm not sure if you can see those purple arrows, but yeah. <laughs> um, I'm coming down under the covered bridge on top. And now I'm just waiting to see where I'm going to go. If I'm going to hop down under a bridge and I do decide to go to center. So I take my slow thunder orc and lance. And I slowly make my way to center. And see on the far left, uh, this is obviously CDXX. They're a really good clan, so they know how to stop us from getting to center by going on the bridge. So they're going up there, and that makes it a lot more difficult for us to get in the center. And like I mentioned before, that small move of them going on that bridge with two Ancelots, that makes it... That completely changes it because now I'm in center but they can quickly flush us out of there but that's still generally what you want to do if you're in that scenario as you're only one player on your team you can't take out everybody on the left so this is just another example so that's when you're running solo because if you're running a clan it's different <laughs> but this is just another example of I can't even go up the ramp just because that guy's on the left. Um, I think he has, what was it? Yeah, he's Turan, so I can't even get up there. I really just have to try to take him out first. And it was actually probably a bad move for him to move into center because I don't, I wouldn't have been able to take him out easily anyways if he was up there. And this guy was also doing, I didn't have... The footage of him do right before this but he was under our ramp and that's another spot if you're running a brawler you can get under there and shoot at their range and it's really hard to dig the player out of there just because of the angle he's under it so then like i said before going to center and this guy drops off i'm able to get him then Slowly going up, waiting on the ramp, waiting, and then, yeah, wait for them to make the next move. Canyon map, this is my least favorite map, for pretty obvious reasons. It has very little cover and long range weapons and robots excel on this map. And using five brawlers is usually going to be pretty hard, but it's definitely possible to get good scores. Um, the little cover that's on the map you definitely have to use well. And there's a bunch of different spawns. There's one here, 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 and then other team has here, here, here. So saying that one team spawns a D and one spawns a B, you want to get to center usually something slow first to get that out of your lineup like a lance um thunder orkin it doesn't have an ansel so tridents and pins and splash can kill it really easily so you just want to keep using this to come in and out um and if sometimes i know if they get range around here it can be really hard to get in there but in that case you'd probably want to get like a griffin or something like that close to here and just try to jump at the range to prior prioritize it and take it out first um and yeah you just have to really work on instinct since there's so many different variables on this map there's so many different spawns but definitely use these hills and just the center in general use the cover on it and good luck So this is me starting with the Lance Thunder Orc. I spawned over where I said D was before, um, but I had to walk over there to get the beacon. And now I'm just looking where everybody is. There's no one on the left to really flank me if I push forward. So I'm just pushing up and then I tuck behind this hill that I was mentioning before. And that way I can hit the guys in center while also getting cover. See, I just 
pop it out there shoot down a shield take him out and I can see in the far left there that there was a butch treb but he can't hit me so I'm just staying on track now we have Springfield map and a lot of people dislike this map just because it's a really large map and it takes a long time to get from your spawn to the action usually or just to get across the map especially if you're in like a lance lot but let's talk about some strategy so when running five brawlers generally you want to stay away from the open parts of the map um, if you spawn in the valley you usually have two options I generally find that I get more damage and just more action if I go to center but that also means you have to clear the open parts because there could be tridents firing at you or um, an RDB or something like that but you can also just you can go up the ramp here and stay in this section but you may not get as much action that's the downfall of it but usually yeah just watch out for the range we all know where trebs like range usually will stay around here and there's probably usually that one guy with like two geckos and a spiral sits up here um yeah that not much to it I think I already mentioned that the other spawn are up here if the spawns if you do spawn up here one team a one team B uh, it's a lot better if you have five brawlers just because of all the cover you can use and the range like trebs it's a lot more difficult if you to shoot down one of these roads well, like a griffin is just walking and jumping around and you can't hit him. And another part I really like to use is this, um, under this bridge. Like if I'm around here and there's a lot of range here, if I can just jump in there and then just wait for my jump to come back, I can usually circle uh, this part of the platform and there might be range here and I can just jump up with maybe a death button or something like that and take out a fury and yeah, that that's ideal that you can get over there but yeah just be very mindful of where the range is on the map and stay near cover once again stay out of the middle of the valley stay away from here and you will have great success so now some clips from Spring Springfield Springfield I'm moving in over that bridge and he jumps at me, I jump away. And I notice like I'm a lot more committed here than he is because I'm just so far away from my spawn. So he's likely gonna have reinforcements soon. So I'm using all this cover, staying behind it, and just keep moving around. And then you can see I slowly see that guy in the back. He's probably gonna make his way here. And if I remember correctly, I take that guy out and or where I'm close. And he now has reinforcements. And I get taken out, but just moving all the range away from what it's supposed to be doing. Because an RDB, it's not going to do well in one-on-one -on -one situations that close, typically. So if I'm able to do that and bring guys away from center, it's... Um, another great success so here in center this is the place to be what a time to be alive uh, so that griffin jumps up I'm slowly making my way around because there's I can see that there's no trebs around their spawn that can hit me I do see there's a Regatka that's charging at me with Trans, and he can just keep playing the cat and mouse game basically because he has 350 range and I have 300. And I see that this side needs reinforcements. Drop down. And then my teammate's also helping me out here, so I think I chip into him here. And then I eventually get taken out, but now it becomes a lot easier for my teammate. I think he's still there when this Carnage Thunder gets me. 
And with five brawlers, that's what you want to do. You want to force one-on-one -on -one situations when you're up close and you can actually take out the opponent rather than rather than him hitting you from 600 meters out. So this is obviously the Plasma Rhino. I This wasn't on the builds list, but I liked the clip, so I kept it. Uh, so I'm making my way up here. Remember, I either go to center or go on the platform. And I think I tried to chip into the, at Galahad. And no, I did get him. Hmm. So now I see, I'm just looking around, look at the time, beacon bar, shoot this guy, man I hate how slow the rhino is, I think I checked before and just moving around without the shield is the slowest bot in the game, or tied for it, like that's pretty ridiculous, uh, but then I put the shield up. And that beacon they can get back pretty easily, but just holding it and drawing other guys away can help. And the best way to get rid of enemy long range is to make them destroy their own bot. Because if you're getting in their spawn like this and you're getting their home beacon, um, it's going to cause them to have to ditch or else they're just going to sewer their team. But... That's what's happening here. So I see I can't take on that guy because he will probably take me out. But that Thunder Orc on my team is probably going to get him. And then I just go straight ahead. Try to chip in this guy. And now we have the beacon advantage. So remember, center or the platform. Those are the two main things you want to remember for Springfield. And then we won. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. And this was a bit of a different video, but if you like this kind of video, let me know, comment below, and I'll try to get them out more often. Thanks for watching. Oh, and just one more thing, guys, I wanted to add in after the video is some of you might be wondering why you would run five brawlers when you could just run a Fury or Range for one bot and be covered for at least four or five minutes on a long range map. Um, and I'd say because the game is slowly moving towards a close range meta with the new map just coming out which is definitely close range um, the valley map coming out at the end of the summer and then eventually that desert map and you'll really want to know how to use five brawlers and it'll pay off in the future and as well I think it does um, I think it does actually take probably more skill to use five close range on all maps as you know you have to be more aware all the time and you don't have that one bot you can just sit in and take a breather for that long so yeah because if there's two guys that get the exact same damage and they it's on canyon map but one has a fury trev there for the whole game and the others duking out in the middle um, at center I'm gonna probably think the guy with the five rollers is a bit more aggressive and he's a, probably a better player so that's just a quick side note um, anyways thanks guys